Next it. I thank you. Hey, hey thank I you, Lucky. Your stream smiley face, by the way, is bright wings, blinky, viable. A master blamed me for taking it. Thanks and keep it up, smiley face. It's viable. If you go Emerald Wind with a backline Your defense team. Stream. Less than three. <laughs> Ajax, thank you very much. And thank you, Lanky546. Let's say as follows This team has Johanna, Alex Strasa, and three mages. This team has Chen. No, not Chen. Right, thank you. Unrealistic example. Thanks wait, wait, wait one stream. sec. Thank you very Could much. You this team has mm, Muradin, three mages, and Brightwing. Do you ah, go Emerald Wind? Or do you go Blink Heal? You'll only get Emerald Wind value Balloon. if Muradin Balloon jumps in strength. and you Emerald Wind in the midst of all the mages. But if it's a left to right fight, Merlin versus Johanna with four backline, Blink Heal can help out heal poke. It can reposition to get out of Temporal Loop or Blizzard, Ring of Frost. You can heal your front line in cases where they are not taking massive skill shot burst. Emerald Wind against Johanna can get unstoppable by Iron again. Skin, so it won't do anything. You can't save yourself, you can't split push. Blink Heal is the correct choice. Now, if it is Tyrael Kerrigan, Greymane, Uther, and Gul'dan versus Chromie, Asmodan, Murden, Arthas, and Brightwing, Emerald Wind is better. You now have a powerful anti-engage against Kerrigan and Tyrael Dive. There are several frontline warriors you could port to to do an Emerald Wind bomb if you would like to. You can now protect your Chromie better with Emerald Wind. Chromie has a superior poke than any of them, so as long as your team doesn't engage, they don't engage, you win. And when they engage, you Emerald Wind. You win again. So it really depends on the comp. I would say Emerald Wind is the correct choice 80% of the time in Hero League. In competitive, they'll only ever do Emerald Wind. Otherwise, they simply won't pick her. But you don't always have control over how your team picks. 80% of the time Emerald Wind, 20% of the time Blink Heal. Generally, that means you would have liked to pick another support. This is true. However, you don't always have control. Sometimes it starts to look good for Brightwing, you pick her, or it's quick match. And then suddenly it doesn't anymore. So you go Blink Heal. Praxis hold out. Malf, Chromie, Greymane. Solo lane and tank. Will rise again. Can Blaze solo tank in your opinion? He can. And he can also solo lane. Hey Gorby, do you ever do you have any insider info if Lizard will ever do the 20 hero pack again? Nope, no inside info about it. With two other MOBAs packing it up, it seems like now is the prime time to gain a few more players. Yeah, I I don't know about that. When playing Ragnaros on Sky Temple, mm. when playing Ragnaros on Sky Temple, uh, when should the trait be used to fight the objective to hold it after it's lost? Well, at Sky Temple, there's nothing after Sky Temple objective is lost. So, yeah, you should use the objective as soon as people start to contest the temple.
Do you think being top 10 in Hero League will give you a chance at getting picked up by an HGC team? Yes, I think that's where people start to look for it when uh, it's outside of the current player pool. And why hasn't HGC done something like Overwatch League or League has done with their cemented teams? I think it's because we're not seasoned enough yet or, or big enough. But anytime you ask why isn't HGC more like Overwatch League, it's about profit and player size. HGC is already a significant investment uh, and I think we are... HCC is big enough for the game state, but you won't see New York millionaire investments or or our major sports team looking after it. So we can't do Overwatch League. Time for combat, friends. Be prepared. Are you ready? Noonie. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, there was another There's donation. Batwolf95. Thank you so much. And he said, thanks for the great stream. Could you try Zuljan q built on the next I BOE game? You. Thanks for the great stream. Could you try Zuljin Q build next bow game? I know he can top DMG on Immortal like pre nerf He does far less damage than Vala on the Immortal. It feels like a lot and it's true, but it's not like... Uh, it's not at all like... Uh, Vala. And uh, he's stack reliant and he won't get that many. Uh, anyway, I always got Endurance Stim pack. Thank you very much for the donor, appreciate it. And there was Lady Savannah's Windrunner. He reset for two months. For the horde. XG love your stream grubby. And there was Monkey Bomb and Kicker Nips. Thanks guys. Why would you silence chat? Why would you do that to us? <laughs> For some introspection? Greetings, friend. Oh dear. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them. Greetings, friend. Maybe I don't win? I think Tracer's here. I don't see. Oh no, there she is. <laughs> thank you, Chill Bear, and thank you very much, V Speed One, for the Tier Two sub. Actually, I guess Sonya just wins because um, she doesn't have a mana pool. I don't see any level fours that really are gonna turn it in my favor. But it's good to fight outside of the wave. late for my pyromania every time she whirls your creep wave just set your own wave on fire i mean i gotta get a little bit more value than that i need to wave clear i need to heal i need to damage her just setting my own wave on fire while standing there damages her but it also gives her fury and it also uh lets her heal on me and the minion wave simultaneously and this is not a good trade can Blaze out sustain Sonya? No. No, because... I mean, I didn't know the answer to that. But the answer is no. Because she doesn't have a mana pool and I do. Is 
you can just whirlwind for free to heal on the waves. I definitely need to interrupt Whirlwind, but she has War Paint as well, so. See, I just don't have enough damage to kill her before she heals up with War Paint. All I can do is clear, but it costs me mana. It doesn't cost her mana. Could have picked the mana stim. Yeah, that would... Knowing what I know now, that mana is the first concern, mana stim would help. But it will still not make me win. I have a certain amount of DPS and it doesn't kill her. <laughs> I'll get the grill and kill this time. Thanks, man. Dead. Oh wow. So Sonya can be killed in a 4v1. Hmm. Yeah, I think as soon as you get to a 4v1, you suddenly have enough damage to kill her. That seems to be the tipping point. I see 3 to 4 top, so I should be safe grabbing this. Looks like I lose this. Again. Are there people still getting poison spear? Uh, yeah, but this guy isn't one of them. Oh, we're almost 10, I shouldn't just abandon post. There was no getting away already. Hope we get a kill up there. Oh no. He didn't uphawk for it. We can use bunker for pulse rounds. Why did you take bunkers and compassion just better? Uh, I I think bunkers good. Is compassion just better? Uh, it's pretty hard to get to their back line. I'll only hit ATC. Um, Sonya is just AFK pushing. Now they are dead. 
There's also a kind of civil civic duty in picking bunker uh, because you let people get better with it. Zerg waves defeated. Resetting pens as per protocol. Uh, just joined. Could you explain or talk about blaze talents? Yeah, uh, I always get adhesive petroleum because uh, I don't like my oil not slowing. I currently always take endurance impact until I play more blaze. That's the, my go-to. It's very easy to understand. Allows me to focus on the other aspects. At seven, I generally get the auto attack, but I went for grill and kill this time. At 10 I change it up, 13 usually nano machine coating. Though I think now fuel machine, well it's actually pretty good against, they have 3 auto attackers. Get in, get in! Just... Almost had me seeing red. Just get in! Greetings, friend. He wastes ice block. Feeling slow. Nice. That's a really big push. I'm going, I'm going. Does attack speed slow effect tracer? Yes, of course. How about Zarya uh, attackers? Of course. They have attack speed 4, it's gonna heavily reduce it. We need this for 16, kind of. Zork Wave is mostly decimated, but they are not 16 either, so now I'm just going to push with it to uh, empower my teammates a bit. Uh, yes, nowadays nano machine coating works either ignited or not ignited.
Nice Twilight Dream. Uh oh. Can we get the keep? Maybe no. Or maybe with bunker we can. Maybe not. Blaze it, blaze it. We got Sol Jin, so that's nice. Sol'jin is still dead, so we should just get this. We could bait more kills. It's not about the camp. It's Oh, Malf went back. That was risky. It's not about the camp. It's about them unable to give up camp steals. And then you get more kills. That's what it's all about. No need to 5v5. We're ahead on the map and in level. Zug Zug. Zug Zug. Thank you for the sub, Epoch Pilot, three months. Really? We have uh, armor debuff. We basically have too many Hanzos. He just wants to bait us into a fight, but we need top. Need to see a sharking, and they're looking to maybe get keep. We should get all the temples before we fight. I don't like this, but here we go. We killed one, that's all that matters. Ouch! Ah, uh, so bad. I, ha I was, had bunker, this took off silence, did too much, and we needed top first. Is there any way we can grab top without dying? That fort is gone. Yes, that's Dingo. <laughs> ah, so, so bad. <laughs> Stay alive. Keep fighting. We're winning. Ah, oh, if I got my bunker up, maybe I should just put it up as an escape point. I don't know. If you don't know what you're doing, how are your enemies supposed to know what you're doing? Uh, yeah, smart. Very smart. Pretty even game for the most part, but we might lose boss and or hellbat and or double temple. Okay. Tracers is bot, so we should all go top.
No, the time trap. Nice. Don't get over confident. <laughs> okay, let's just. Still three dead. The enemy is doing bad things to our core. Malf, just get in, my friend. Melf really won't use it, no matter what. I need to give this guy a bit of a coaching. You're right next to it, you get all in. There's a pulse bomb on you, there's a bunker next to you. What do you do? Ice block, auto attack and die. Law, he, he pushed me in. Literally rich. <laughs> MVP. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <gasps> The most dreaded skills for allied players. Tyrael Sanctification, Alex Abundance, Blaze Bunker. Oh, special mention Medivh Portals, yeah. Do you feel that Blaze does too much damage for a tank? Uh, he does good damage, yeah, but it's, it's not very bursty. His numbers are really high. He's got good self-sustain. He does almost everything well, except reliable escape for himself. This is why Bunker is essentially the best. Because he has no reliable escape for himself without it. Um, and of course combustion is better for team fight, right? But just bunker makes him truly able to do anything. Whereas combustion needs a little bit... Strangely enough, combustion needs teamwork as well. I think combustion is better with the trait build. But if you don't go to trait build, it's better to get bunker. Trait build gives you more survivability. And it really enables heavy dive. Uh, you know, you get the unstoppable, you get the damage reduction on enemies, you get the healing at 16. You have combustion, you slow them, you damage them, you hurt them, you jump in, you can't die. Whereas, if you play more like this, which is just kind of like general peel, damage dealing, slowing their auto attacks, general goodness. Bunker is more fitting with that, because I'm not as survivable as, uh, you know, as a, uh, uh, a full trade build blaze will be. And that's why I personally get Endurance Stim back. You can E as Blaze to interrupt Moshpit, but you must hit someone next to ETC. And then the Splash Stun will cancel it. I did this once this game. Can you use Bunker while silenced? Uh, no, actually. 
Do you think shield sanct material is enough for main tank? It is if you have two other melee minimum. If you have three, four backline, sanct is not very good. I think uh, the more your allies use bunker, the better the alt becomes, obviously. But it even has utility for Blaze himself. I mean, it has 25 armor. You can body block uh, enemies. You can do, do a bit of extra damage. But there, you could see there was like at least three opportunities where Malf could just save himself right-clicking on the bunker. 